việc chuyển đến 8 giờ sáng một từ đó là chuẩn nhất bây giờ bảo 8 giờ sáng là 8 giờ sáng và 5 giờ chiều em về thì 6 giờ về đúng không bây giờ 8 giờ sáng 5 giờ chiều có phải đẹp không Hey everyone, it's Monday night here in Vietnam, April 1st, 2024. The time's about 9 o'clock at night. Temperature is 83 Fahrenheit, 28 Celsius. And the air quality levels, I guess I have to put this in here now. It says unhealthy, but it's borderline on the orange level, so... I'm going to uh, walk around without a mask right now. I want to see what's going on on Monday night here in Hanoi. Seems like already a lot of activity, even at nighttime. Go down that way. Yeah, Richard, Kentucky Fried Chicken's here. Good eyes. But what's open here in Vietnam are a lot of these cafes. I just ate at one. Had a late night meal, basically on the sidewalk. There's a huge coffee culture here in Hanoi. Should be less traffic too at this time of day. What I've noticed in um, Vietnam is that a lot of these restaurants and cafes, they open, they stay open late. You can come out at pretty much any hour of the day and get a meal. Here, even Hainan chicken rice at nine o'clock at night. If you want a meal, you can get it here. It's actually very different than what I experienced in a place like Taipei, where many of the uh, restaurants, they close early. But here in Hanoi, you just go up to a cafe, you can walk up and have a meal on the sidewalk. It's pretty incredible. Look, even here. There's people here dining outside. Yeah, Deborah, nine o'clock at night, Vietnam. The streets are lively.
Clara, you're working while watching me. I know a few people who do that. But focus on your work though. I don't want something um, negative to happen to you because you're watching me. It actually is kind of hard to choose a place to like eat at. There's so many like good spots that are open. Maybe if I walk by the um, the lake where I did my last live stream, there'll still be the cafes open there. I wonder. Yeah, Esteban. You got that right. Vietnam is the motorbike country. Look, even a dog is here dining. <laughs> even the pets don't sleep here. I just took a stumble into a hole. I didn't see it because of the leaves. But you gotta be careful. I didn't. I don't think I hurt myself that bad. I kind of caught myself as I was falling. I'd rather walk on the other side of the street since the sidewall looks a little bit uh, better. Daniel, you felt it? I know. There's all the leaves there. It hit the uh, elevation. You got to be really careful. Oh, we got to do this, folks. I'm walking here. Hi. Someone said hi to me. <laughs> I've mastered the art of crossing the street. It's harder at nighttime too. Would you cross the street like that? Or well, Kilia says, be careful, cross the streets in Vietnam with a sidewalk. Yeah, I mean, everywhere. Streets, sidewalks, pathways. Um, I'm constantly looking down at uneven surfaces. But that one where I took a stumble was hard to tell because it was covered with leaves. It was hard for me to judge the, the depth. But luckily I didn't like completely fall on my ankle. I mean, as careful as I am, I still fell. Look at this motorbike cafe, I call this place. Look at how many motorbikes are here and people are just dining, casually dining at this um, cafe. It's called Pho Day. It's so amazing. In some ways, riding a motorbike here is safer than walking. Right. 
Yeah, it is, Deborah. That's the most popular cafe that I've seen all night. I'm not falling for the same trick again. If there's leaves, I'm gonna be careful. It's a nice street. I love the lights here. Yeah, Orcadilla, they do ride on the sidewalk sometimes. Heck, even the sidewalk is full of them. You can't really walk past them. Let's go down that way. I think it'll be safer to cross here. Notice when I cross the street, I like commit to it fully to the other side and then I make my turn because you don't want to do like sudden movements when you're walking or else scooters may like try to go around you and they can't anticipate what you're doing. So better to make like straight direct lines and then once you get to the curb, you turn. That's the safest way to do it. Look at this, more people dining outside on the sidewalk. Look, there's even an Indian restaurant here, Hilltop Curry. Angela House trash collected there. Um, I've seen garbage trucks come by and they just come by and collect it at a big container. One thing that really helps in Vietnam is good shoes. Look at this, they're just cooking stuff on the stovetop here outside. Hello, Xin Chow. They got eggs cooking, hot plate. Xin Chow. Looks good. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Taiwan night markets. People here are so friendly too. They're waving and smiling at me. They're interested. If you stay in Vietnam for a while, you'll be a slalom expert.
Here we've got a tour group. It's a lot of natural um, scenery here around Hanoi. I think this section of town is kind of quiet. Not getting into issues with copyright on this stream, or I'm trying not to. Actually, um, two live streams ago, that um, live stream got blocked worldwide because of a song that played for 20 seconds but I disputed it and the copyright holder released their claim. Look at this, you can't even pass because of a big tree. I want to go this way. Yeah, Hong Mao, music industry does not mess around. Sam asked, how much is for a meal in US dollars? Depends on what you get, but um, generally you can get most street foods here for around like a dollar and change up to like $4, I would say. We are in the middle of the old quarter, which is like the most popular tourist spot in the city. I'm almost made it to Wan Kim Lake.
Yeah, about who? Four dollars for an entire meal. I just got a bun mi sandwich for 40,000 Vietnamese dong. Which is a dollar sixty. My salad was also the same price, a dollar sixty, and the egg coffee that I got was two dollars. So I pay like six dollars, um, five dollars for my entire meal: salad, bun mi, and egg coffee. Dwayne says, do I collect any currencies from the countries I visit? No, I try not to. I don't like to connect, uh, collect currencies. I like to spend it as I get it. Kind of like the same thing I... Um, Try not to collect transit cards, but I have to in certain cases. Yeah, there's a lot of obstacles here, for sure. Love this button. But doesn't matter, motorbikes can still go through it. <laughs> I think it only applies to cars. I actually want to walk you over to this um, nice street that I found in the old quarter that has a much wider sidewalk and it's not so cramped like here where you feel like you're walking next to the motorbikes. But I have to get to the lake first, Wan Kim Lake. And uh, the translation for Huan Kim is Sword Lake. It means the lake of the returned sword or the restored sword.
Dabra says, like a salmon going upstream. Alright, made it to Juan Kim Lake or Sword Lake. Much different atmosphere on the weekends, but today's a Monday. All right, folks, you know what time it is. I'm walking here. Easy. React says pretty chill traffic and that's the kind of uh, demeanor you have to have when crossing the streets here. You have to be chill about it, don't panic. Just because you see a barrage of motorbikes in your way, you can't be like, Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get hit! That's how you get in trouble, you gotta be like, Look, be calm, be predictable, like that. Don't be like, there's a car coming for me! You're gonna get hit! <laughs> Have you tried Domino's here? No, I haven't tried Domino's. I can't imagine it's that good though. Viet Tin Bank. I wonder if the maximum withdrawal at Viet Tin Bank is two million or three million. That's the um, most common maximum withdrawal amounts that I see in ATMs here in Vietnam. And I would say the average fee for withdrawals is like fifty uh, five thousand dong. So this street is pretty active. Hi, Xin Chao, how are you? All right. Got the Kuang Min Cafe here. 
and get a beef salad, dumplings, spring rolls. So the street I want to show you is actually down here, like one or two blocks. Balu, yes, you're correct. Two million dongs is about $80. Ha Long Bay Tour, $28. And then there's Ha Gyeong Loop Tour for $99, three days, two nights. I wonder what kind of accommodations they put you in during those nights. It might be pretty basic, who knows? Um, maybe it's a tent. <laughs> But I heard all these places are nice. Ha Long Bay, Ninh Bin, Ha Jiang, and Sapa. All right, this is the street I want to show you. It's uh, Wen Hu Huan Street. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Nice wide sidewalk here. Not gonna have any issues walking around. I don't know how the nightlife is here though. Guess we'll find out. Hello. Look at this poodle. Love the haircut. Yeah, walking UK, that's why I like it. The sidewalk here is really wide compared to the narrow ones inside the old quarter. I like the lit trees.
how much does it cost for a gallon of fuel here. I don't really track um, fuel prices here in Vietnam. I haven't passed by a petrol or gas station yet. At least on this live stream. What I appreciate about Hanoi is all these tea places and cafes. So if you ever get thirsty or you need something to drink, there's always something around. Hey, look at this, Sapa Explorers. I'm guessing these people might be returning from Sapa. Can you rent a scooter in Vietnam? I'm sure you can. Haven't tried it yet. Well, it seems kind of quiet down there. I don't want to keep walking along here. Let me head back to the lake. I also made sure I'm not headed to the Ministry of Defense. <laughs> I remember my first live stream in Hanoi. I, uh, accidentally passed by it. However, there is a government office to my left. I'm gonna try not to record and stay on this side of the street. The People's Committee of Hanoi. People's Committee of Hanoi. <laughs> Definitely a government building. And it is uh, staffed with guards. Balu says, are you not allowed to go to the Ministry of Defense? Well, I made the mistake of walking like right next to it along their border wall. And then I got told by a guard to uh, move away from the area to turn my camera off.
All right, we're back through the lake. I'm walking here. I said I'm walking here, man. Don't have to worry too much about motorbikes and cars walking along the lake. 80 says, where would you say the majority of tourists come from to visit Vietnam? I'm not too sure. I haven't really asked people. Here's Sword Lake, Quan Kim Lake. You know, I just realized the entire time I forgot to attach my windscreen. I don't know if you heard wind noise at all during this live stream, but if it bothers you, let me know. I still have the, um, the microphone without the windscreen because I was eating at a sidewalk cafe. Yeah, Dwayne, I love the reflections of the lake. <laughs> All right, um, I guess I'll leave the mic without the wind muff. There's really not that much wind tonight anyway. Hey, Johnny Strides is here fellow YouTuber. If he doesn't hear any wind noise, then I'm sure to trust his word. He's been here also before and walked around this very same lake. I wonder where that ice cream vendor is along the lake. I'd like to get another one.
Johnny Stry says, you wish you were here. Hey Johnny, I thought you uh, bought a condo. Didn't you buy a condo? No, not Turkish ice cream. It's just a regular ice cream vendor. Is this McDonald's still open? I've yet to try McDonald's in Vietnam. Oh, nice. Johnny bought a new condo. He's leaving Toronto. I'm going to check his video after this live stream is over. Um, looks like McDonald's is still open. There's people inside. There's still people on the sidewalks there, across the street. It's one thing that's amazing about Vietnam, just go to a random cafe, Xin Chao, hello! And just have a coffee, a cafe. But Lou could go for a Big Mac now. I can't get enough of this lake at nighttime. It's just so pretty. Oh, thanks for that info, Peter. He's saying according to Google via 2022 statistics, tourists from South Korea is 26.4% in Vietnam. Second place country is the United States at 8.7%. Let's see what they have here at this uh, at this stall. They've got nice tables and chairs.
coconut. They've got ice cream. Twenty-five thousand for ice cream. Dasani, fifteen thousand. Hanoi beer for forty thousand. Juice for fifty thousand to eighty-five thousand. Black coffee for fifty. That's the menu at this stall here. You also get a nice place to sit by the lake. The Bon Moi Four Seasons. Walking UK says Vietnam is sure worth a visit. Thanks for showing us how nice it is. Yeah, it surprised me how nice it could be. I wasn't actually expecting anything um, like extravagant, but it's really impressed me. Hi, Sin Chow. How are you? Actually, I could have said, How are you in Vietnamese? I learned how to say it. It's, it took me a while, but it's uh, Xin Chao Zhao Ne Ban De Nao. No, I got the accents wrong, but it's similar to that. Similar to that. It's this one. Yan ne an tet now. How are you doing? I'm trying to keep up with my Vietnamese. Every day, just a little bit. Yeah, Christopher, it's quite calm out here. If I keep this up, I'm going to be like a basic phrase and greetings expert in all the places that I visit. <laughs> Except uh, I couldn't really learn Thai. Thai was difficult for me. If you only learn 50 things in Thai, you can say it. Yeah, I have the same app too. It's Nemo. Cantonese. They're really good apps. And then they have uh, Mandarin Chinese. And uh, Japanese. All right, enough uh, playing around with the language apps. Bonjour, salut, merci, avec plaisir. Don't 
Ciao, grazie, prego, per favore. Okay. <laughs> I just gotta rotate all of them until I'm an expert in all the languages. Connie says those are nice. It's a great app because they actually have a good pronunciation as you tap on them. You don't know how much just knowing a little bit of the local language helps with your interaction of people. Just saying hello, goodbye, thank you is a lot. SB says, interestingly, Vietnamese people don't usually greet by asking how are you. They ask, have you eaten? Oh, the same thing with uh, Chinese. says says a lot how nice it is when you don't see too many police around I think they are around you just don't really see them that much phone to fee would love to visit what's the airfare like Oh, that's so variable depending on where you're coming from and the time, the season. Hung Mao says someone gave you a free sample at a bakery because you spoke a few words in Spanish. Oh, muy bien. Walking UK says you gain a great English accent when you were in London. I think most of it has been lost now, but I do know the terminologies. Attention, you are approaching the end of the conveyor. You have to use the lifts, and it's not the first floor, it's the ground floor. They don't call the French fries French fries, if they're big and fat, those are called chips, but the thinner ones are still called French fries. <laughs> Actually, no, I think they're just called fries. I'm getting confused now. I think this is the ice cream spot, yeah. Well, one of them. Orcadilla says, very relaxed vibe tonight. It sure is. I think this is the same ice cream vendor I got from last time. Duta. I thought it was Dinta, but it's Duta. <laughs> Let me try a different flavor this time. Uh, last time I got the mung bean stick. No, I think I got orange. No, I got 
I got mung bean at the other one, the last live stream, and this one I got orange. Um, let me go with coconut milk this time. She's busy filling out paperwork. Well, you know what? Let me go for durian. I was just re-watching my video today of me eating durian in Thailand. Oh my gosh. Let's go for durian. Yeah. Let's wait in line. Durian ice cream. Jay Coriel says, you get the durian. I think uh, I read your minds already. You might regret it, everyone. You're gonna might, you might smell it through the airwaves of the internet and you're all gonna run away. I'm gonna have no more viewers after ordering the durian ice cream stick. Hi, Sin Chow. It's going to be a mistake. Durian. Karan Stewart, what's durian like? Uh, smells really bad. Um, it can smell good if you eat it. Um, it can taste really bad and then it gets really good after you eat it. Or it may not smell at all to you. It's so weird. Uh, durian? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Durian. Oh, we're gonna have to sit down and try this. <laughs> okay. This might be my last live stream ever. I'm gonna. I, I went again. I might not survive after eating this durian. Let's eat it here before it melts. I also want to put my money away too. Ten thousand, twenty thousand, fifty thousand. <laughs> okay. Durian, that's a durian fruit, all right. Um, here we go. <laughs> Which side is the popsicle side? All right. Smell test. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! It's durian. It smells like durian. Oh. It smells rotten. Oh. And sweet at the same time. It's weird. This fruit is something else. Yeah, I am. Hi. I am also Hi. Where do you live stream? I'm uh, Action Kid on YouTube. Oh, I'm yes. on Twitch. You're on Twitch? <laughs> yeah. Hey, look. what's your Twitch name? Small Cali Fry. Small Cali Fry? Yeah, Small Cali Fry. And you? Oh, Action Kid on YouTube. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm not on YouTube. I, uh. I don't, so. <laughs> Hi, how are you? So you try ice cream here? Where do you come yeah, from? Yeah, New York. Oh no, really? Yeah. It's crazy, it's a long distance. I know, it is. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm 
trying durian ice cream. This is. Oh no! Really? I'm just smelling it now, like teasing people. How does it smell? I, I don't you want to interrupt. You want to smell it? To, uh, yeah. I just opened I like, it. Uh, okay. It tastes like, it smells like, uh, you know, when, when a smell comes from, from, I don't know the word. Oh Puri? no, the, the sewer? The, yeah, where the, oh, no. where the water and the <laughs> dirt goes when you... you it's, know. it's a bad smell. Yeah, it's a bad yeah. smell. <laughs> oh, you have yeah. all that followers. Like yeah. you already right. stalked you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty big on YouTube. I, I know. can't believe it. I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, don't, don't you want to stream on Twitch? I tried before, but I didn't like it. No? Yeah, I have a bigger following on YouTube. Okay. So you do YouTube uh, videos also? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mm -hmm. started, but it's still... I'm going to close this up before it leaks more smell. <laughs> so then uh, have a great time. Yeah, thank you have that. fun. Yeah. For smelling your eyes, thank I, you. <laughs> I know, I, I scared her away with this, so. You know, you know how powerful durian is. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. You want to smell it, folks? Here. Here. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Um. I tease you enough. Let's take it out. Oh. Man. What is with Durian? second lick uh, tastes the same as the first. How many licks is it going to taste for me to actually enjoy this? Oh. Just watch my facial expression. It's going to slowly turn good after I lick this like a thousand times. All right, now it's actually not too bad. Now it's sweet. <laughs> okay, let's eat it now. Mmm. Good. I'm telling you, this is the weirdest food ever. I can kind of still taste the pungent, like rotten smell a little bit, but now it's more sweet than that. Mmm. It's starting to melt. I'm gonna. I spent too much time smelling it and licking it. It's starting to melt now. It's almost uh, like 30 degrees Celsius out here, so. It's... Mm. Smells good now. This fruit, man. Unbelievable. How does this fruit get two different scents and tastes? I don't get it. It stinks and then it do doesn't bother you anymore and... <laughs> mm. All right, um... 
I would recommend not getting this durian flavor because you may be too repulsed by it after like the first lick or bite that you may not want to eat it anymore. But if you're strong enough to tough it out, this durian ice cream becomes really good. <laughs> It's so weird. Weird. Okay. Jerry says he thought it was April Fool's joke. No, it's not. A genuine reaction. I can still, I can taste the rotten durian taste in my mouth. Oh. Hung Mao says, would you still pick the orange over the durian? No, the orange was worse. The durian is actually better. It's kind of more creamy. So I enjoyed it. <laughs> at the end, at least, at the beginning, I was like, you saw my face, I was like, I'm glad I saw the durian and picked it. John says, let's try durian cheesecake. There's a durian cheesecake? What? Don't tell me there's durian here also. Yeah, it is. This tuta. Durian stick 20,000. <laughs> Oh, Balu, that girl is German. Yeah, I forgot her Twitch handle already, but you can rewind and find it. Ugh. I do not have a good feeling in my mouth. Um, like it, oh man. This aftertaste is like, like, you just don't feel like clean, but you still taste some kind of sweetness, but like, you know your breath stinks. It's, yeah, don't pick dirty if you care about your breath and scaring other people away because everyone's going to be running from me now. Oh, Roy, you found their small curly fry on Twitch. Good to know. Tony says, go back and brush your teeth. I'm going to need to do that. No question about it. Um, own two feet is durian healthy or something? I don't know actually what the health benefits of durian are. I mean, you know what is even um, interesting about the durian fruit too? Just the way it looks like this freaking fruit is a big spiky, like big ball. You can like hurt yourself. I, I hurt myself for my durian food review in Thailand. I wanted to pick it up and it scratched me on the bottom. And you can like pick it up and like throw it and it could kill someone. The thing is huge. Like, not only that, like the smell is really bad. You can hurt someone with it. And it tastes bad at first, so.
Oh man. Yeah, Deborah, durian is not for everybody. I mean, I don't care for it, but it was, it was entertaining to show all of you. It was definitely the most expensive flavor on that ice cream list. I wouldn't recommend it for everybody. That's true, Johnson. It does attract a lot of insects. Let me head up this way. I wonder what's over here. Yeah, Daniel, the aftertaste, I'm still feeling it. Like, it's just gonna stay with me. You know what, folks? Um, I think I'm gonna wrap up this live stream here because I wanna get something to wash this down. I, I don't know, my, my mouth feels like sweet, sugary, and that durian smell just lingering. So, I'm gonna pop into one of these tea shops and get something because, yeah. I gotta wash this down. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everybody. Um, hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Oh man, the aftertaste is not good. <laughs> And especially because it's ice cream, it's sweet, so it's just lingering. Like, oh. Maybe that tea shop I'll go to. Bye, everyone. <laughs>